Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I will be bringing guys a film slash player breakdown of one of the Washington football team's seventh round picks Dax Milne. I'll be giving you guys some background information on Dax Milne going over some of his strengths and weaknesses and then we'll get into some of his film and if he can make the Washington football team's 53 man roster. So if you guys are new make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. So let's get right into the video. So as most of you guys know, the Washington football team drafted wide receiver Dax Milne out of BYU with their third seventh round pick with pick 258, which was the second to last pick in the whole draft. Um, so let's go over some of Dax Milne's measurables and then we'll get into some, to some background information and strengths and weaknesses. So Dax Milne um, is about six foot and you know half an inch, about 193 pounds, not very athletic, uh, ran a 4.56 40 yard dash, a 31 inch vertical jump and 14 bench press reps. So not too athletic, but um, let's go uh, to some other background information. Uh, 22 years old, he grew up in Salt Lake Valley, um, in high school, he won three state championships um, for football and two for basketball. So you like to see, you know, uh, those athletes who play two different uh, sports in high school and are successful at it. Played wide receiver and cornerback for football and was a point guard um, in basketball. Coming, you know, out of high school, he was a zero-star recruit. Um, walked on to uh, BYU and got a scholarship in his freshman year. So you like to see. Um, that by him, you know, he's got that work ethic and was able to, you know, go on as a preferred walk on and get a scholarship. So you love to see that. And his father um, played in, you know, uh, for the Detroit um, Tigers and in, in the minor leagues. So that's kind of the background info on Dax Milne. If we look at, you know, his stats uh, during college at BYU freshman year, not too much had uh, 10 catches. Uh, for 69 yards and one touchdown. Uh, the next year bumped it up a bit, 21 catches for 285 yards and two touchdowns. But this year he absolutely um, exploded in 12 games, had 70 catches for 1,188 yards, 17 yards per catch, eight touchdowns, uh, 1,255 uh, you know yards from scrimmage so great year by him in his junior year you know him and Zach Wilson had breakout years and you know he went to the draft and got picked obviously uh, by the Washington football team you look at some you know the other stats uh, again this is PFF so you have to take it with a grain of salt but he had an 89.6 receiving grade which is fourth in the country 3.7 yards um, slash route run you guys see and a 2.8 percent drop rate which is pretty good in my opinion right now now so let's get into some of his strengths and weaknesses uh, you know some of this is from me watching some of his tape and some uh, you know things from uh, that of other people have said so you know he was projected by some people to be a sixth to seventh round pick and obviously got drafted in the seventh round so some of his strengths he's got some really good hands uh, got good ball tracking skills. Um, is able to get a lot of first downs. Um, he ha he's got some solid footwork. Uh, 40 catches of 20 or more yards um, this past season, which I'm pretty sure led college football. So he's got that you know big play um, ability. He's a solid blocker. Um, and I talked about you know that he's a threat. Uh, he's a deep threat, but he's also a threat at all three levels of the passing game. So the short passing game, intermediate passing game, and the deep passing game. So you love to see that. Scott Turner is going to love that. Going to be able to use him in a lot of different um, ways. And you can just see um, by how he matches up with people, uh, the type of routes he runs, and just the little things that he does. He's a really, really um, smart player, which you love. You love to see. Um, some of his weaknesses, you know, he doesn't have amazing athleticism, doesn't have that great, great um, speed, needs to be a little bit more physical, especially at the line of scrimmage sometimes, not able to, you know, break too many tackles um, once he gets the ball. You know, a lot of his yards after catch were just on deep, you know, uh, uh, deep passes where he already has like 10 yards of separation 
on the guy and he just has to you know walk in uh, to the end zone and you know the other weakness is he didn't play against the toughest competition in 2020 especially cornerbacks but you know overall I really like Dax Milne as a player I think you know we got you know somewhat of a steal in the seventh round uh, was Zach Wilson's favorite target and you know they both made each other look good but I thought he was going to get drafted before the seventh round and I'm pretty happy Washington was able uh, to get him. Here's a little clip right here um, of him in, um, I think this was minicamp, uh, might have been OTAs, but you guys can see a couple here, uh, or this right here, it's you know a toe drag, pretty nice right there um, by Dax Milne. I'll go ahead and play it right here. Um, and yeah, this is, again, it's nothing much, but I really, really like some of the things that he shows that he can do. I'll play it again, and then right after this, we'll get into you know some of his film breakdown and what I think he can do in Washington in 2021. So let's get into the film breakdown. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the film breakdown. And again, I'm no film expert. I'm just showing you guys what I see. So let's go ahead and get started. So this was, I think, this past season against LA Tech. And one thing I'll say from watching this is Milne didn't really play much, or he did play some in the slot, but primarily played on the outside. So he has that flexibility. He can play on the outside and can play in the slot. But I really think at least early on, Washington, if he does make the roster or even the practice squad, which he at the very least will make the practice squad, has a chance to make the roster, he'll play in the slot for Washington, in my opinion. So you see right here, uh, he makes a pretty good catch right here, able to keep both uh, toes, both feet in bounds. Great play by Wilson and great play right there by Dax Milne. That's a, you know, that's an NFL catch because in college football you just got to keep one uh, foot in bounds. He keeps both of them in bounds, able to, you know, track the ball, uh, which I said he's pretty good at. Keep both feet in bounds and make a nice catch. So, I mean, he's able to do that, um, able to get the first down. He has a great connection uh, with uh, quarterback uh, Zach Wilson. So, one, another play right here. Sorry, let me pull it up. He runs a pretty uh, nice route, able to come back to it. Um, you know, it would be nice if he could break uh, that initial tackle. He tries to kind of juke him out, and, you know, it doesn't work. And a couple other guys come in uh, to bring him down. I'll show that once again. You know, able to come back to the ball, but not able to break that initial tackle. And then a couple other players come through, but still a nice, solid, you know, 7 8. A yard gain um, so let's go to the next play right here um, you'll see it um, right here he's able to make you know nice solid catch but not able to uh, make the guy miss you know you know you liked you would like to see that again his yards after the catch ability isn't too great of course he makes a lot of you know uh, deep catches which adds to his number it kind of inflates a little bit more but that's something that he might need to work on in the NFL his yards after catch um, ability right there his this next play right here able to get a nice you know uh, six yard gain uh, we'll see it um, right here this time he's playing the slot kind of a screen pass right there um, goes behind his blockers and gets you know a nice six yard gain there's a lot of different things you can do with Dax Milne, like I said, he's you you can you know um, involve him involve him in the short passing game, intermediate and deep passing game. Didn't see too much of his you know a uh, deep passing game today, but he definitely um, has that ability. Um, so let's go here to the next play, and you know these next couple plays, uh, you know you have to understand what part of the game it's in. I think it's right before halftime. They're trying to score. Um, they don't have too much time left on the clock. They do got two timeouts, but he's able to make a couple consecutive catches and get out of bounds. Really, really um, great job by Dax Millen. Uh, you know, runs here. Here it is. Sorry, this is it right here. Um, able to run. You know, a nice crisp route. I mean, look at that separation right there. Look at the amount of separation he has. That's like six plus yards of separation right there. Able to you know get a couple yards more and go out of bounds and you want to see that I mean most players should do that but there's some guys that don't do that I think Isaiah right a couple times last year I mean just should have gone out of bounds and didn't you want to see these guys get out of bounds and I think he does it the next play 
um, right here. Um, able to, you know, just create some separation. You know, Zach Wilson's running around a little bit. You'll see it right here. Uh, and, you know, Dax Milne's able to get open. Same thing. Get a couple extra yards and get out of bounds and get your team um, in field goal range. And you absolutely uh, love to see that. Um, right there. So I love that play right there by, you know, those two plays right there by um, Dax Mullen. Right here, you'll see, you know, kind of nice block right here. Nothing special, but he is a willing blocker, um, you know, has some effort in those plays um, and able to make a solid block um, right here um, in the run game. You'll see right here, number five, able to, you know, he not do too, too much, but able to do just enough so that uh, the running back is able to um, go past number four, run past number four. You see right there, he's able to block him a little bit, and 25 is able to go past um, number four. So, you know, overall, I think Dax Milne, a solid player, and, you know, we'll see. You know, you're able to do some different things um, with uh, Dax Milne and run him out of the backfield as well. You know, some jet sweeps, they did that. Um, in at BYU and I think you know they also if Dax Milne wants to make this team he might have to be a contributor on special teams he did some punt returning at BYU but not too much but if he can be their punt returner then he definitely um, will make the team but at the very least he'll make the practice squad if they keep six receivers in my opinion it's going to be very tough for him to make the roster but if they do keep if they keep seven he's looking really good in training camp uh, looking good in the preseason, preseason, then I think there's definitely a chance that Dax Milne could make this roster. Um, and it, there could be a situation, you know, he starts the season out on the practice squad and then they need a receiver because someone went down and he makes the roster. So let me know what you guys think about Dax Milne. Do you think he will make the roster and what will his role be with the Washington football team? So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Peace.